Street Freedom in Swahili. I just want to welcome all of you today and thank all of you for coming out to the March for Reparations to African People. Uhuru, give yourselves all a round of applause. Yep. I'm a descendant of settlers and I believe in reparations in order to heal our nation. What the f Wait, is this Black Hammer? <gasps> Oh my God, is this Black Hammer? Oh, oh, oh my God. As a black person, this has got to be some form of racism. It 1000% is, dude. It straight up comes from a place of otherizing black people. Obviously it's not as like insidious as just straight up being like black people are not human or whatever racists think, but like it still comes from black people. One, can't help themselves. Black people, uh, you know, need to be helped by white people. It's just like when being a rad lib goes to like the complete opposite. You know what I mean? Ultimately though, I do believe in reparations. Just whatever the Black Hammer organization considers to be reparations is absolute bullshit. We've talked about this extensively as a matter of fact on this broadcast. Black Hammer is a cult. They use like communist aesthetics and whatnot. What? How is reparations racist? No, 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 no. I am an advocate for reparations. Reparations comes at the systemic level. But this is not reparations. Black Hammer is a cult that advocates for reparations by getting white people to pay them directly. That's not reparations. It's just a cult. All right, let's keep going. And we need to address racially based climate change in order to save our planet, in order to save this race. And we need to give reparations before we're going to be able to heal anything, including our planet. Yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate you. Uh, your heart's in the right place. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Uhuru. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. You're watching Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. You're probably wondering what you're watching. I'm your host, Andrew Callahan, and that footage was from the Uhuru Reparations March on the streets of Oakland, California. At the time of this rally, I was a few hours south in Hollywood at an anti-vax march. Here we are, Channel 5 Live Worldwide Hollywood and Vine Freedom March. But the night before, we caught wind of a very important day, the National Day for African Reparations, hosted by an organization called Uhuru Solidarity, whose slogan is white solidarity with black power. What? Off. Okay, it's not Black Hammer. It's whatever this is. White saw there with Black Power. As white people. Dude, I don't. Ah, ah, I don't like this. I don't. Like, I've talked about this before where it's like, it's like white people for Black Lives Matter. It's like, why are you separating? What the? I do not like this at all. I'm sorry. Why? Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, by the way, like, listen. When you see stuff like this, okay, when you see like white people, you know, washing like black people's feet or recreating like slavery, like where they chain themselves and stuff and then cry. I just need you to understand that's not undoing racism. Okay. You're not combating systemic racism. That is a deeply selfish and deeply individualistic way of making yourself feel like you're doing something. Okay. It's bullshit. It's not real. It's just a dumb. Every black person that sees that is like, yup, that's silly. That's silly as no serious black person sees that and goes, wow, I feel great about this now. <laughs> like it's, it's just clown behavior. Okay. It's just, it, it's just goofy. It's clown behavior. Well, isn't there already a separation with BLM? No, there was a movement that was like white people for black lives matter. And I personally am anti that. Okay. No, everyone for black lives matter. Okay. It's just, no, I, I, I don't, I just think it's so ridiculous to divide uh, the movement. Like, why are you doing that? Just like, just support Black Lives Matter, be normal. And don't like be one of those people, don't be one of those white people that like sees a black person and immediately is like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, how about that police brutality? Just be normal. Just like, that's a normal person, okay? That's a normal person. Someone being black does not automatically make them, you know, the representative of all black people or someone being black does not automatically put them in a different situation, okay? Just be a normal human being. You don't have to like constantly bring up because I feel like, and this is something I heard from black friends of mine during like the BLM protests and whatnot, where like a lot of them would make fun of people constantly bringing up BLM out of the blue to them regularly in normal conversations. It's like, why, like, why are you doing that? I just want to get coffee. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> this dude's like, I'm walking to the Starbucks and I just want to get coffee. And all of a sudden I have to have a conversation about police brutality with some white people. Anyway, so that's my, my, my take always to, to all of the Yakubian devils in here, including myself. I am a Yakubian devil. I'm a child of Yakub. Okay. 
uh, inherently sinister is just be normal. Just be normal, okay? We have always upheld the lie that America is the home of freedom and democracy. But the reality is very different. Long before Trump and the cries of fascism, African people were catching hell. Something is wrong with this reality. Because every opportunity and amenity I have uh, has been at the expense of my black and brown brothers and sisters around the world. You owe money. If you don't give it, we're going to come take coming it. coming to take it. Uh-huh. And I've uh -huh. seen Prince take it, all right? So while I was busy... Wait, was that... In Hollywood at the anti-vax rally, we sent our African studies correspondent, no. Saddam, to the Bay Area to figure out what the hell's going on. I met him, he's dope. Uhuru, we are here at Snow Park. It's uh, one of the whitest parks I've ever seen. We're going to see the uh, Uhuru Solidarity Movement. It's a bunch of white people that believe in uh, African reparations. They want to give us money, so <laughs> let's get some money. <laughs> that was, was that Ghazi? Was that Ghazi? Uh, I didn't want to say it because like, then people are going to be like, if it's not Ghazi, then people are going to be like, yo, you're racist. What is he doing there? I can't tell. I've only seen him with like Joker face makeup on, so I don't know what his like face looks like kind of without that. At the same time, these people live in the most gentrified neighborhood to avoid the hood. It's a fake org, but it's Black Hammer. Oh my God, is this a Black Hammer? Like, is this under like the Black Hammer uh, umbrella? No, it's where Black Hammer came out of. Okay. The United States of America was <sighs> built on stolen land and stolen labor. The African People's Socialist Party was putting forward the figure of $4.1 trillion in unpaid labor. It's really about we as white people confronting our privilege in this system. And not just confronting it ideologically, but confronting it actually by giving back. Can I have $5? Do you, are you serious? Yes. You got change? Actually, I don't. Sorry. I don't. Sorry. It's okay. Next time. What the f***, dude? <laughs> Yo, what are these people doing? Oh, my Lord. What is happening, dude? Bro, this is literally the same energy as, like, sorry, I was... Uh, sorry, I had a heated moment. And I said something that could have been misconstrued. Uh, it's time to Venmo. It's time... To, to donate some funds to some black people's cash apps. Put your cash app in the replies. You know what I mean? It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, next next time. That's like, but he, this dude seems like a well-intentioned guy. You know what I mean? When I see people, when I, when I see people, white people, especially like repping Palestine, I'm like, that's like a good person. Automatically, that's my assumption. And the reason why I say that is because like, it's such an issue that is not even in the minds of most Americans. Or if they even think about it, they usually have a negative like the opposite perspective of what they should actually have so like he just seems like a well-intentioned rad lip kind of guy who just like you know he's just like you know a little over the top uh, what's going on we're here uh marching for reparations for african people we want reparations how would you like to see like reparations being used like in the black community i think that's up to the black people and how they want to do it that's that's true that's true uh can I get five dollars? Of course. I only have a twenty. Uh, Does that work? That works. Yeah, twenty dollars is cool. Thank you. That's insane. That's literally insane, dude. What the? F oh my god, that's so weird, dude. Why are you? Oh god, why are these people so weird? Why are they like this? Why are they like this? Do you think it's the camera? I mean, if he pulled up on me and said that, I was like, no. <laughs> like. New job unlocked, the most devious lick. I mean, who cares? Let him make his money. I just like, I don't care about him making the money. I care about them being like, as a North African, can I also get some dough if I go there? Oh yeah, he's Nigerian too, by the way. <laughs> it's a double devious lick. I love you. I love you back. Hey. <laughs> we're with the Freedom Socialist Party. So we're a socialist, feminist, anti-racist, mm -hmm. international party. Um, again, coming from an anti-capitalist perspective, we do think that redistributing the wealth mm -hmm. um, is going to need to happen for any liberation. Awesome, dude. Why are you joking about Nigerians? Wait, I'm not. I'm just, that's not a joke. I, I've met him. He's like, he's Nigerian. He's a Nigerian American. What? Some are way too white to understand the point. Like he's a Nigerian immigrant as in, 
I, I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't know if he's a, uh, if he's a, uh, 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 African descendant of slaves, but like, I don't know how to describe this to people that just like, do not understand. Asking for money though. Would it be weird to give a beggar during any other circumstance? Well, he's not a beggar, dude. That's the joke. To really happen. Hell yeah. Can I have $5? <laughs> That's not the, the, the massive reparations. Where it comes from matters and it needs to be paid by the people that have reaped the benefits. We are for reparations. Um, you know, we are, you know, actually working on, a, you know, a pamphlet on what, you know, the specifics should be, but reparations are a just demand. You know, when you have people that were stolen from their countries and then tell them, oh, hey, you're free now, but we're going to still let people, you know, discriminate against you. You need to make things right through reparations. And that's mega corporations and it is the capitalist system. And I don't think it's, yeah, I'd give you five bucks if I had it. But Sounds like you hate another brother trying to come up low key a little bit. I'm sorry. I mean, hey, get your money. But I don't think it's for any individual who's part of the working class. Again, I don't have it the way I should have it under the system either. So it's not so much, I don't think, for any working class or per person to provide that personally, but to be in a movement that's demanding that that happen at a systemic level. And again, tax the rich to get schools, tax the rich to make housing, tax the rich to pay for reparations. That's where I would come at it from. Why are performative people automatically rad libs? They literally said they're socialist. I mean, she didn't say anything that spicy. Like I just, guys, being pro reparations does not automatically make you a rad lib. I don't think that person is a bad person at all. I didn't even think the other people were bad people. Um, that's why I said some of them are misguided, right? But like, I'm in favor of reparations as well. I've we've talked about this many, many times. Um, what? You have Nigeria and Niger, the country. I sincerely thought you made fun of the N word. What? No. <clears throat> But they're not like, um, they're not being that weird. That was an insane thing for that chatter to say. I should not have read that out loud. Understanding that that happened at a systemic level. And again, tax the rich to get schools, tax the rich to make housing, tax the rich to pay for reparations. That's where I would come at it from. People didn't even say that those guys were in uh, Radlibs. So right now, uh, hella people gave speeches, and now we're marching to the furniture store, the Uhuru Furniture Store. So far, I got 20 bucks. I would have got 25, but the dude didn't have change. Some of these <laughs> just broke. Uh, my name is Ali Ayello from Oakland, California, and or I'm not from Oakland, California. I've lived in Oakland, California uh, since uh, February of this year, and I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, what are we doing here today? Yeah, so we're out here. Wait, you've shopped at this furniture store before? Is this a, like a like a famous furniture store in Oakland or something? What's for, up? Uh, the organization that's putting this on is the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, where an organization. Bro, all right, we gotta look this up. What's going on? This shit looks sussy like baka. Is there some? If there somehow is represents how the government or whoever's gonna do them, no one has received the money. Yeah, dude. Famously, black people do not have like community leadership, so. Uh, there's no way to allocate the resources. Finish the video, they cover it. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like when it comes to when it comes to black people, people just like forget. I guess that uh, you know that's how taxes work. For example, like how does the government know how to spend the money that we give it? <laughs> it's like I don't know. There's people for that job. Like they have a job, and and their entire job is to to allocate resources appropriately to areas of need. Um. Average house price in Oakland is $950,000. She moved there from Jersey. Well, Jersey's housing is like dog shit too. I doubt there will be reparations that long today. All those people are banned in your chat. That's true. That is true. I did ban a lot of the weirdo like racist people uh, whenever we do have that. Just write a check to Minister Farrakhan and he'll take care of the rest straight up. That works under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party to organize, particularly in the white community, for reparations to African people. Africa is the future. It is the youngest continent on the planet. There is so much potential there. Living there, it's so dynamic. There's so much opportunity. It is literally the future. It will drive innovation from the youth and from additional investment. What are three of your favorite things about Africa? Oh, wow, okay. I was in West Africa and they joke a lot with each other. And so like if I'm Tore and you're Koulibaly, yeah. um, 
I'd be like, oh, you eat beans. And you'd be like, oh, well, you're my slave. So, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, can I get $5? I don't have any cash, but I can Venmo you. I only got Cash App. Oh, I got Cash App. Oh, okay, cool. Shout out Cash App. Cash App is the best service ever. Channel 5. Dude. Is so cash app gang. Shout, Shout out, out to cash, cash app. app. The best way to send reparations. Uh, if you're reincarnated, would you be white again? I want to say no. Oh my god, what is happening, dude? Why are people like this, bro? People just can't be normal, dude. They're so they're, people cannot be normal, dog. It's just how it is. I'm sorry. It's just they're incapable. Listen. Can I get $5 is a question I ask every time the top of the hour ad break comes. Because if you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, well, then unfortunately, you're going to have to pay $5 to subscribe. That's right, folks. Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60-second ad break. But fear not, there's a way to avoid those ads. All you need to do is subscribe for $5. Or if you don't have $5, you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. Uh, all you need to do is connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account to get one free prime subscription a month thank you clay bauer the five gift subs here's the one minute ad break now is this on no i just alt tab and watch other streams no i did not know that i would love to be like part of the black community like for real but i also know that that's kind of like signing myself up for issues in life but you know i don't know man i like loved being in africa so like i, I believe all black people in this chat should be gifted that will be my reparations shut up keith made me why don't you do it yourself, bitch? 23 month subscriber. I would be very happy to be like a West African, like a Malian specifically. They're the best people. They're like so kind and cool and honest. Yeah, go Mali. <laughs> oh, do you live in Oakland now? Yeah, I do. Yeah. How long, how long have you lived out here? Two years. Cool. So going into the rally, I didn't know what to expect. I realized that most of these people weren't even from Oakland. Uh, a lot of these people was from like Virginia, well, Boston, Santa Cruz, San Diego. And the thing about Oakland is it's a well, majority black city, right? Was it Chocolate City, as, it, as some people would say? Is that what they said? That, I think that's what they used to call cities, like Chocolate cities or some shit like that. It was a majority black population. But Uhuru's platform for reparations does not address anything in the Bay Area. All the money collected at that march was supposedly going to the construction of a basketball court in St. Louis, Missouri love basketball <laughs> no I'm playing though but that's not really gonna uplift the community as much as like some type of educational institution uh, uh, something that'll help people out like free lunch programs the basketball course seems kind of redundant to me especially if you're in Oakland so Oakland has become one of the hottest rental markets in the Bay Area now people who've lived in the city for decades are getting pushed out well the reality of gentrification is hitting Oakland's LGBTQ community tonight the building that serves as headquarters for Oakland pride is been sold to a real estate firm. Me and my daughter got regentified to North Richmond. Spacious lofts and turn of the century Victorians, West Oakland has been a hot spot for local artists and musicians. It, it's a, kind of a quintessentially West Oakland kind of a space. So the mayor of Oakland announced she's creating a special cabinet to look at housing and affordability. According to the East Bay Equity Atlas, Oakland's black community has decreased by 25% in the past 10 years and 91% of low income homes of color are currently in areas that are actively gentrifying or about to gentrify. This is a result of big tech's takeover of the Bay Area, which has caused home prices to rise while wages for the working class have remained the same. I mean, we should look and see how many basketball courts are in St. Louis. <laughs> It just seems extremely racist to me. I don't know. I just, a group of uh, all white people go to historically one of the blackest cities in California, the home of the Black Panthers, and um, they want to collect money from other white people, but like not marching through white neighborhoods and um, build a basketball court so we can ball up. It's St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, like on the other side of the country. Somewhere <laughs> where the people who donated the money will never be able to see shit that might come out of there. You know what I mean? Who knows? If Michael Jackson, then, then oh shit. <laughs> if, the next, if the next Kobe Bryant <laughs> come out St. Louis, Missouri from the Uhuru Solidarity Basketball Court, <laughs> nobody in Oakland will be able to be like, I seen that kid, I grew up with him. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, we decided to see what's up with people from the town, actually from the community. Well, all I heard was white solid there. I said, oh, I better get the hell out of here. Shit, what the hell? Wait, with what, huh? You're right. I didn't know what that meant, so. Well, what are your opinions on reparations? I agree with it. I mean, 
as a people, we've been through a lot. Yeah. I mean, you can, we, all, all we can do is state our case. Sure. You know what I mean? Just like with anything with laws and, you know, rights, you know. And hopefully uh, Congress or our, or our local officials will step in and, you know, and help out with that kind of a thing. Hopefully. Do you think uh, white people are evil? No, I ain't saying no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying some of them are, but some of them are not. You think they owe us money, though? I don't think they should. Somebody should, uh, you know, give a little something back. I think they do. As a start, I think that every black person in America deserves the right to know where we come from, our ancestry, and it could be done with a DNA from our government. It would, get, again, give us knowledge. It would empower us to know who we are. Where do we come from? The slave trade, everything was lost. And the government owes us to us as a people to know where we come from. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, reparations? I think ideally it is owed, but in reality, I don't believe that it will happen. How do you put an amount on and where do you, where does it start and where does it stop? So how do you calculate? I mean, it's, America will be bankrupt, <laughs> right? What if I just start asking white people for money? No, <laughs> absolutely not. I think that's a federal a government thing. We just can start asking, you know, people for money. It's, he doesn't owe me anything. I got $20 so far. Bye. <laughs> Reparations is not going to be, you know, some sort of welfare check from the U.S. government because how could a welfare check or some sort of payout or something like that ever meet the dollar amount that's been stolen from African people? How do you define what George Floyd's life was worth, you know, in terms of the culture that he brought to the, the family, his role as a father and what he brought to his community? So who controls where all the money goes when y'all collect reparations? The furniture store, um, I, don't know, I think it's a great way that, to raise money for the movement. Um, Wait, please tell me the furniture store is actually owned by black people, at least. Like, is this like at least a black owned business? Oh my God, are you serious? I was on the fence until they said that where the money was going, I hate this shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Storage building, the baddest nonprofit on the planet. Twitter left this IRL. Dude, it's like, this is like what some weirdo, like, white Idaho kids who are like, who self describe themselves as neoliberals. Like, this is what they want me to do, but for socialism. It's like, drop everything you're doing, just like set up a furniture store. They also have great stuff. Like, I've bought a lot of stuff from here. And. So what does the furniture store do with the money? Well, I don't know exactly how they use the money, but I think they use it for like the same kind of thing that we're marching for today to to build resources um, and to invest in the black community in the U.S. Yeah. Does it go to the, uh, the basketball court? I'm not sure. Yeah. This is my first time volunteering. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. The board of the nonprofit is all black. Idaho slander on mobile. We hear you. <sighs> Hi, Hassan. I'm Armenian. As you're aware, people have been responsible for the Armenian genocide. So can you Venmo me like $20 or something? No, dude. I have to pee so bad. But this video was fire. Um, What is this? Red voice. The devil wears the shikis. An expose on the black hammer cult. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>